Hey guys! <laughs> oh my god, I started doing that lately and it just like caught on, so I'm always saying, hey guys! <laughs> anyway, what's up everyone? It's Rich Lux. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Robbie and Christie. I did not want to make this video today, but it seems like this is where the world went. I was originally gonna talk about Manny Amy Way and Laura Leach, Manny Mooch, and Jaclyn Hill, but We'll talk about this today. I'm gonna try to get this video up. Uh, I do wanna say that I got an IPL uh, and Morpheus 8 laser treatment in Galveston, Texas. So you can check that video out. I made it yesterday. Uh, YouTube did not like it, but it's still up. So definitely check it out uh, if you wanna see the process of getting um, some of the scars that I've had from previous surgeries, like a tummy tuck. If you're a woman out there and you've gotten a C-section or a mommy makeover, you know that the doctors kind of hide the scars, the bikini line, and uh, the lasers that I got treated those scars to be like 80% to 90% like less visible. So check it out. That video was sponsored by the Med Spa who had me. I appreciate you so much. So go check out that video if you're into that. Anyways, okay. So I want to talk about Robbie D. Christie. She has uploaded two videos. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you're like lost in the sauce, I, I'm gonna refer you to my other video. Just type in Robbie D. Christie Rich Lux and I'll give you a quick little like synopsis. Crash Course has uh, been exposed that Robbie D. Christie was liking and her children were in a parade that support anti-LGBTQIA uh, plus rhetoric and how she lives on a farm, this granola thing, and she was gonna host a school, um, you know, where it, it was just a lot, okay? Like, I'm, I'm actually having trouble even wrapping my head around it, but I will say this, if this is her calling, that's what she wants to do, I don't understand why she doesn't come forward and say, it's true, guys, I am anti-LGBTQIA, but she hasn't done that. What has happened since uh, this news broke a couple weeks ago is that Robert E. Christie has lost thousands of followers and a lot of people are unsubscribing, they're coming over here, they're sending messages to each other, they're unfollowing her, but yet some people are still watching the train wreck and she put out two videos. Now, she took a month off of YouTube from posting videos. She posted two videos and she's saying that she's posting every day for the month of August, which is my birthday month. I'll be, uh, my birthday's August 9th. So you guys, leave a like, leave a comment. I just really would, for my birthday, oh my God. <laughs> for my birthday, I would really like a comment. So just leave a comment, um, say something sweet, whatever you wanna say, I appreciate that so much. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just I can't believe it. Okay, so she uploaded these two videos, right? And listen, I don't know about the other drama channels or T channels, but nobody texted me. Okay, they they have little like their little clicks and groups and they send stuff to each other. Ain't nobody text me nothing. Okay, well, come on, y'all need to send me receipts, guys. If you see something, tag me on Instagram, send me a DM, email me or something. Okay. So, anyways, I was like, well, let me see what she's up to. Well, I checked out her videos. She posted two videos this week. Like back to back practically. And she's saying she's posting every day for the month of August. And I was like, okay, yes. She's gonna post a video. She's gonna address the anti-LGBT thing scandal she's in. Nothing. It's like it never happened. In fact, she said that she is hosting a gay wedding on her property of her sister, which we never heard of. And she said that uh, her sister's girlfriend. And I'm like, okay, at that point it's a fiance. I just kind of feel like, in my opinion, this is a huge PR stunt. She'll probably have a couple friends over, throw on a little nice dress, put some on the barbecues, sit outside and let's call it a wedding and she'll post that on social media. And then that, that'll get her out of the heat and scandal. It just comes across very performative, which she has done before with the Peter Mon. She lied to Peter Mon and the James Charles situation. I don't understand why a creator who has this much of a big following and is being accused of being anti-LGBTQIA, I mean, I remember when making a video and saying, hey, I'm not this was like a thing. Like if someone was to make several videos and receipts and coming out and saying that I was part of the KKK and I saw many T channels and media outlets talking about that, I would make video and say, that's not how I went down. I am not part of the KKK and end it right there. Easy peasy. The fact that she doesn't do that, I find that to be very interesting. I really do. Oh, I'm sorry I have makeup on, but I'm putting on, uh, I was trying to put on my foundation. And foundation today I'm using, uh, it's super, you know I'm bougie, bad on a, bougie bad on a budget. La Mer, I'm shade sand. But I buy two of them because I feel like, have it right here. I feel like when it comes to makeup, we're more 
than just like one color in our face. So I got sand and tan. So I got two of these. And you guys know La Mer foundation is super expensive, but it does last me a long time. I don't really wear it that often, but I love that it has a built-in SPF and it's done right. So I'll link it in the YouTube shop. If you guys want to check it out. Hold on, let me like blend this out to you guys. Okay, now. It's gonna be October pretty soon, and Robbie DeCruz is gonna start dropping these Halloween spooky ooky kooky videos and trying to get back to her, you know, her gig and stuff. I am just shocked that she got so much pressure from you guys. You at home have made so many videos about her situation, and she still doesn't address it. Like, you know she sees it. Like, you know she sees it. She doesn't address any of it. She drops two videos not talking about it, and then she slides in, oh, we're having a gay wedding. Why does it have to be a gay wedding? Why can't it just be a wedding? But you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I Like, let's go to a big gay wedding. Like, come on. I, I mean, I understand that, but like, we're past that. But to her, and you know what? I was actually quite shocked. I was shocked to find out that Robbie D. Christie even had a husband. Because if you would have asked me, I would have thought she was a lesbian. Robbie D. Christie gives me lesbian vibes. I mean, she's out there chopping wood. She's out there building things, going to Home Depot. She's out there wearing the flannel. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, can I tell the gay joke? Okay. But anyways, I was just, I was just watching Robbie D. Christie and she... This is really far off from my usual content, but it's on my mind tonight and I want to talk about it. I'm going to be talking about Rob Beauty Christie. If you don't know who that is, it's no big deal. It's, you know, it's fine. But if you do know who that is, and especially if you follow her, watch this video because I learned something about her this week and I want to share it because I am not seeing enough people talking about it. And I think if you're going to be supporting content creators, uh, you should know what they're supporting so you can make an informed decision if you want to be putting money in their bank account by engaging with their content. So she has some land where she lives in Washington state and they've been homesteading for a while, but um, she's mentioned recently that they're going to be homeschooling their son um, through a, a homeschool co-op and they were going to be hosting the co-op on their property, which is whatever. Uh, I found out that her sister runs a Christian based homeschool co-op group again whatever um, and that Christy is building a house for her sister and her sister's family to live on their property and they're hosting this co-op group so now we know that Christy's going to be like affiliated with this group because she's hosting the group and her son's going to be homeschooled through this group so we know that she will have some involvement there again whatever no big deal until we find out recently that this co-op um, is affiliated or at least aligns with the values of a known anti LGBTQIA plus organization. And we found this out because 4th of July, there was a parade um, and this homeschool co-op was posting pictures on their Facebook account of them at this parade. And they were holding signs that say, don't mess with our kids. Hashtag don't mess with our kids. Now don't mess with our kids is the anti LGBTQIA plus organization. And again, you could be like, okay, well, that's her sister's doing. Maybe she didn't know. Okay. Well, come to find out Christy was liking these pictures and videos. And apparently, allegedly, I didn't see these pictures or videos and I didn't go looking for them. Uh, her son was in at least one of them. Now, if you know anything about Christy, she doesn't show her son online. She hides his face, which I totally agree with. So it was kind of weird that they were saying that her son was there and she was liking the posts. Again, I can't confirm that her son was there. I don't know what her son looks like. So how would I know? Um, but at least we know she was liking the posts. So she's hosting this group at her home and she's liking posts of them holding signs referring to an openly anti LGBTQIA plus group. So it's not looking good here. Okay. Um, she has not addressed this as of yet, and I don't know if she will, because she tends to not address controversies when they come up. Uh, I know earlier this year, she came under fire for still following and supporting James Charles, which, which is kind of weird. She's kind of affiliated with this group about protecting kids. And then she was still following James Charles, but then she claimed she didn't know anything about anything about what he had done, but whatever, that's a whole other situation. So I just wanted to bring it up because I just think it's important for people 
to know who they're following, who they're supporting. And right now, all the evidence is pointing to the fact that she is, in fact, affiliated with this group who aligns with a very anti-LGBTQIA plus organization. And it makes me sad. I followed her from like 2017 to like late last year when I kind of saw a pattern that I've seen before. And I just kind of saw where her content was going and kind of the direction she was going. So I stopped following her, but now I have her blocked. And I need to go and see who her sponsors are. So I know not to support any of those companies if they are still sponsoring her after all of this. But again, she hasn't addressed it. I'm just wanting to put it out there because it, it, if that's where she's going to go and that's the way she's going to align, I know that she is a Christian. She wears a cross necklace. She talked earlier this year about, you know, getting into reading her Bible. So I know her husband follows some right wing media accounts on his Instagram. So like, I, I do think that this is just kind of where they're going and how they're going to align themselves and their family. So just wanted to put that out there for anyone who was curious. And if you still want to follow her, like that's on you. But for me, it's a hard pass. Very much gives me um, lesbian vibes. Like the, you know, like the butch lesbian. You know, when it comes to lesbian culture, there's a lipstick lesbian, there's more feminine, there's a butch lesbian, it's more masculine. She gives me more of the masculine lesbian vibes. Right, and just my opinion, I'm not to have an opinion, sorry about it. God forbid you have an opinion on YouTube. But you know, I'm just passing judgment. I thought she was a lesbian, that's why I never really thought anything of the stuff that she supported, like Manny Amy Way, Life's a Drag pageant, or pageant, <laughs> like, I still can't say that damn palette today. And James Charles, she still supports him. And I'm like, oh wow, forgot, she has kids, and she's married, and she lives out in the woods, and she's totally disconnected from the rest of the world. And I'm like, mm, now it makes sense. And listen, I don't get why she can't just stand firm and say what she believes in, even if it's wrong. Because if it's coming from the heart, how could you be wrong? If that's what she believes deep in her heart, how could you be wrong? And having a gay wedding on your property does not exile you from the photos that we've seen of your children in the parade and you liking anti LGBTQIA rhetoric, this doesn't make any sense to me. And the fact that people are giving her a pass, hmm, because if it was anybody else, y'all would demand an explanation. And the fact that in her comment section, it seems very interesting. I don't really understand what's going on. In my opinion, I think there's, there's views being bought. I think there's comments being bought. I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying. Okay, so uh, Jeffrey Boom Boom Star <laughs> recently came out with new blushes out of nowhere. It was like a soft, quiet launch. So other colors existed, but these four just came out for the summer. And this is Hollywood Sucker. And I just want to tell you something about these. Not sponsored, although I should be. This is it, Hollywood Sucker. It's a, it's a Magic Candy Liquid Blushes. So they're really huge. These things are huge. Now, I want to say this about it. How does Jeffree Star stay in business? Hold on. There's no scent to it either. Did I put up my nose? No. There's no scent to it either. But with these, a little bit does go, go a long way. You can put on your lip, like a little lip tint, like a little lip shade, right? Put some on your finger. You can do the little cheeks if you wanted to. Look at that. Oh, can, can you guys see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You know? So this is really what it's for. It's blushes, but it's such a pigmented formula. You just need a little bit. You can dab it in, you can do the lips, and you can also do the eyes if you want that monochromatic look. It's just crazy. Do not buy this if you have a heavy hand because this, I'm telling you, goes a long way. This will last me years, but who am I? I have like 30 blushes, so why do I keep buying more? I don't even understand. I don't know. But it was sent to me in PR, so I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I don't really get that much PR. Just from like Milani, L. let me see, Too Faced Cosmetics. Oh, they also said, Too Faced Cosmetics has literally sent me 15 of these in the last six months. The lip injection, and I'm just gonna look, it's PR, it's not, not sponsored, so they just keep sending this to me, so I'm just gonna shout it out. Y'all must really, y'all must really want me to talk about this. The Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. This right here, there's f I think four or three different variations of it, but this one is the maximum, it is the most potent. This will burn your lips so big, you put it on, your lips go pop, 
Like I'm telling you, you start feeling a tingling sensation. They get really big, really huge. This is the one you want. So when it comes to the lip plumpers, I know there's others on the market. I have tried them, but by far, the lip injection maximum plump will give you that I just got lip injections look. So that's what this, I haven't used it since I got my lip fillers because my lips are already big, but before I use it all the time. I wanted to wait and let it settle. I think I'm like a month having these, so I might try this pretty soon. Maybe next weekend, we'll see how it goes. But my lips are, are kind of big already, so we'll see how it looks. So they keep sending this to me. Thank you so much, Too Faced, for it. I appreciate you. They also sent me a Too Faced Cosmetics Better Than Mascara. This is the waterproof one. Look at the, they spent some money on this packaging. You can feel the water droplets on, on it. So yeah, I'll probably give this to my mom because she uses mascara every day to go to work. And um, yeah, she goes through it like water. Anyways, you guys, you know, you should replace your um, mascara like what? That every, every three three months? I forgot what it was. Maybe you guys know in the comments. But anyways, made this far in the video. Drop a heart emoji in the chat. I appreciate you so much. Let me know what you think about the Robbie D. Christie drama. And I'll see you guys later. Mwah.